Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy. In this video lecture, we will learn about software development life cycle. It is a very important topic because the whole software engineering is based on these studies. So watch the lecture carefully until the end. Further at the end, if you have any kind of doubts or any kinds of query, ask us and we will try to solve that queries as early as possible. Right. So let us start. What is software development life cycle or SDLC? Basically, you will heard the term SDLC much more time in software engineering and many times you will heard that every time you will discuss software engineering, you will heard this term, right? So what is this? Basically, it is a systematic, well-defined, structured stages by following which we can develop required software. Suppose we want a software, our intention is to develop a software, then which stages we have to follow so that our software that in final stage we will get, it should be reliable, it should work as according to the need of the user or the client, right? So for that, well-structured, well-defined stages are made by following which stages the software development work will be done. So this complete process is called as software development life cycle. Now there are various activities under that or you can say that uh, the steps or stages in that. So the following activities and stages under SDLCs are as follows. First is requirement gathering, then feasibility study, then analysis, then design, then coding, then testing, then integration, then implementation and then maintenance right so let's discuss each topic one by one now very first is requirement gathering before any development of software the very first step is to gather the requirement right so user will put his all requirement in front of the client team or you can say that software analyst in the front of software analyst all the requirement that a user wants from a software would be given by his or her or him or her uh, as according to the need of any client or user further that he can or she can also say that what are user requirements system requirements and functional requirements so based on the requirements these three terminologies will be discussed over that right so first is requirement gathering that what requirements are there so that we can develop such kind of software now after that the second step is feasibility study what feasibility studies? Feasibility studies that after getting requirement, the software will, would think that whether the software would we are able to uh, make that software or not. In the case if software goes uh, failure means if software doesn't work, then whether it will financially, practically or technologically feasible to that or not. So this kind of uh, terminologies are called as uh, feasible study, right? In system analysis there is an understanding of software product limitations that what are the limitations in our software so all kind of this analysis will be done that uh, what kind of minimum RAM, minimum uh, hardware, minimum software system required and all the system analysis which are required to make the software will be analyzed here then design phase is there in design phase logical design and physical design is there under which DFDs that is data flow diagrams, logical diagrams, metadata, data dictionaries and various kinds of approaches are uh, available and the developer would uh, design starts the meta model from that and by applying the uh, concept on meta model the complete software then would be designed right so it is the design phase after design phase coding is there in coding the work is done in programs or you can say that better in module the in module wise programming or the code will be done and after that all module should be executable code so after that if all all programs or executable code files are executable free code error free executable code then they will integrate there and after integration of your software would be in the market but in coding phase programs are there in different modules but before going the complete software into market testing is there means before integration we have to test basically if you will see in any typical SDLC life that is software development life cycle 50% of time consuming is done in this testing because various kinds of bugs are there in testing phases various kinds of errors that we don't want or user don't want are occurs at that time so the 50 time 50% 50 of the time in any software development would be consumed by testing phase so it is very important and mostly asked in which exam that what which phase in SDLC life cycle takes most time so testing is that phase in that 
module testing is there means the smaller uh, modules would be there they would be tested first if they are error free executable files then after that uh, program testing would be there then you can integrate that all modules and you can say that integration testing would be there after applying that you can also do uh, testing at the users and or clients and like that so this is the testing phase there after that integration is there integrated means you have to integrate all the libraries databases and other programs to your required software and after that you can implement that software implementation simply means to install that software on your user or client's pc or in client's environment so this is the implementation part implementation must be portable adaptability should be there at the time of installation at client or user pc so this is implementation part and after that maintenance is there means if in further uh, uh, cycle of the software uh, renewable if there is any kind of error they can uh, there is, may, may, might be occur right so to resolve that errors uh, fastly so the all kind of uh, these things are under maintenance so these are the basic activities or you can say the stages in the software development life cycle which we have discussed here after this lecture we will discuss about various kinds of uh, hdlc models like waterfall model and like that so please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can't miss any of the important video lectures and important update from our side further if you have any kinds of doubts or queries you can comment us and we will try to solve Thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat